This video documents my exploration of the variety of graffiti styles around the city of New Orleans. These pictures were taken near Magazine Street, Chapatula Street, and in Mid-City. This stencil tag was on a fence near Tulane University's campus. These tags on a newspaper box are a writer's signature used as a way of getting their name noticed. Using their own homemade marking tools called mops, writers will tag their name as much as possible. Known as the Grey Ghost, someone has made their own type of graffiti in their attempt to destroy others. The Grey Ghost covers up graffiti because they see it as vandalism. This is a throw-up distinguished by its two colors and bubble letter design. This was the last of the three forms of writing to evolve as writers saw it as a good way to get recognition. Pieces are the least controversial type of graffiti. They use multiple colors, writing implements, and styles. They are the most time consuming and therefore the most risky. These three pieces seem to have been done over other graffiti already on the wall. This is considered disrespectful in graffiti culture. There may have been some tension between the writers. This piece pays tribute to rapper Magnolia Shorty, who was the victim of a murder last year. The writer Evac wrote the lyrics of her song Monkey on a Stick above the piece and tagged next to it. Roller tags like this one are done with a paint roller while the writer hangs over the top of the building. It's a great way to get recognition because it's um, very noticeable. Many of these next pieces and throw-ups were found on an abandoned building. Law enforcement officials believe the graffiti invites crime, the idea behind the broken windows theory. However, researchers have found no correlation to prove this is true. Roller tags like this one, Sonar North, are a great way to get fame because they evoke an awe effect as people wonder how they got up there to do it. Writers are often part of a crew and will leave their crew's tag along with theirs. Here, this writer tagged Unholy Rollers Crew, don't ever turn back. Osk wrote over graffiti that had already been painted over. Either Osk painted over it, or it could have been the work of the Grey Ghost. Roller tags are much less accessible, making it more likely that they will be permanent and be noticed by many. They certainly guarantee a level of fame, different from pieces, tags, and throw-ups. Writers will choose their tag based on what letters they are best at writing. Many of them also consist of shapes or made-up letters. Writer Harsh seems to be part of a crude DBQ, which is tagged in both the throw-up and piece. Harsh appears to have some beef with someone who wrote over this piece. Evac was the name that appeared most as I searched for graffiti both uptown and mid-city. He is certainly achieving his goal, like many other graffiti writers, of getting noticed in hopes of their art turning into something of a career.